Myrtle, don't you ever get tired of marching back and forth? I obey the commands of the great wizard of Oz. So do I. I dust, I dust, I dust. Because dust. I must. The matter has been discussed. Just dust. It wouldn't surprise me if the little green bird lived in there. Let's have no more of this silly chatter. Guarding the throne room to the great wizard of Oz is no laughing matter. Yes, Virto. Virto. What now? Have you ever actually seen the wizard? No. Neither have I. I wonder what he looks like. That's no concern of ours. Do you think it's true what they say about him? I never listen to gossip. What do they say? That he can take any form he wishes. A fierce animal, a bird, a mouse, or just nothing at all. Quite true, I believe. But what he looks like, no one really knows. Correct. Now, get on with your dusting. I dust. I dust. I dust. Someone is knocking. I have ears. Who stands without? Without what? Quiet! <laughs> Who speaks that minutes to the throne room of the great wizard of Oz? My name is Dorothy, and I come with my friends to see the wizard. The great wizard sees no one on Thursdays. But today is Wednesday. She's right. He sees no one on Wednesdays without an appointment. Well, then I come to make an appointment right now. Ah! <laughs> What's the matter? One of her friends is a huge lion. Well, please let us in. The lion won't hurt anyone, I promise. Well, brave captain of the guard. You do not need only guard. Please, it's very important. Never let it be said that I am afraid of anything. Keep behind me. If there's danger here, I'll fight as long as I remain. <laughs> <laughs> 